My name is Elke Schliemann. I came to Canada in 1960. Memories mainly, okay, um, often coming home from work early in the morning when I did night shift. That is one of my, my favorite times. It was somewhat busy on Roncesvall but not too terribly busy and you could always stop by at Vince's and there the people that worked there and owned the store they usually had uh, breakfast together before the general public came. You could buy the fresh rolls and some cold cuts and could you make yourself a sandwich later on. This is sort of my favorite food. We arrived by train on a Sunday and it was dead, 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 dead. Union Station, there was nothing going on. And really, when I looked outside, if I had the money at that time, I would have gone back right there and then. I lived just across the street there. On the first floor, there was a dentist who had rented the um, facilities there. And on the second floor lived the widow of the original dentist who had owned the, the whole building. And she had a friend living with her. And I lived on the third floor. There was a kitchen facing Roncesvall and then there was, was my bed sitting room facing Constance, this area. I moved to the Roncesvall area because I first of all liked it very much and I think it was around 63. The atmosphere here and people being busy and talking to each other, greeting each other, not long chats, but okay, it was just a pleasant area. Around this area, the old country shop was there already, but run by the parents of the present owners. They were from pretty close of my hometown in Germany. They were from Hanover. I had trained as a nurse in Germany, graduated, and I had my um, postgraduate certificate in psychiatry. So when I arrived here, you were sent by, not sent, they were helpful. That was immigration. They gave you at least initial contact where you could find work. They did send the nurses usually into nursing homes which I found quite hard to take. I had trained in a university hospital in Germany where anything that smelled the least bit chronic was not kept. A nursing home here in Canada was very, very chronic. I had never seen anything like this. I didn't really particularly like it, so after about six or eight weeks, I said, no, this is not for me. I was working at, uh, I think at that time it was still called 999 Queen Street, which was the um, mental health facility for Toronto at that time. In Germany, nurses were still, okay, the doctors help us. Here, you had the feeling you were colleagues and you worked as a team. At that time it was not allowed to speak your own language. The feeling was the patients get paranoid so you all speak English. We did, even so some of us could not speak um, English that very well. But we became friends very quickly. Quite a number of my friends lived also here in and around Roncesvall area. We were also generous and always invited single men to our parties, particularly when you had somebody able to cook. 
that helped definitely when we had our own little parties or we went out often as well. Further up here there was definitely the theatre was there, the Revue cinema was there already and showed at that time quite a number of German films. It was very handy because you all lived in the same neighborhood so even if you um, if it was late you could go home by yourself it was fine. In order to buy some liquor I was 21 so I could you had to buy a permit which cost you some money I think five dollars or something like this but then I think all of the other immigrants sort of did get together and slowly started to put the change into Toronto that at least you had movies on the Sundays very slowly the liquor laws did change but that all took very much time